welcome to Soul Alchemy TV. I'm your host, Susie Edwards. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about healing your money story in the Akashic Records. And then we're going to do a pendulum clearing to clear away old emotions and replace these with more aligned emotions. So let's talk a little bit about our money story and the Akashic Records. So our money stories stem from different facets of our current life, our past lives, and from our ancestors combined. So in this episode, we're going to look at some of those areas that are affecting our money story in this lifetime so that we can gain some perspective as to what is limiting our abundance and wealth. So I thought a good place to start would be with our past lives. So we've all experienced many past lives. Some will be positive, some not so much. And we have to experience both sides of the coin, as it were, to fully experience and learn from these lifetimes. Before incarnation, we agree to learn certain lessons, to experience certain things, to show up in certain ways. And all of these things help our souls to learn and grow. If we don't learn the lessons in one lifetime, we can come back and learn them in the next lifetime. So you may have experienced some of this with, let's say, relationships, where you keep attracting the same relationship over and over and over again, right? With different people, same scenarios. That's because you're not learning the sole lesson that you are here to learn. So the same goes with our money, finance, abundance, wealth, prosperity, right? If we're not learning the lessons, we're going to keep experiencing things. So maybe you have a business and you experience feast and famine, right? You you finally get some money in, but then it's gone before you know it. And then you have a dry period. So all of these things can affect us in our present lifetime. And especially things from our past life that are affecting us now. So things like vows, contracts, agreements, declarations, soul wounds, trauma imprints, and so much more can have a massive impact on our money, the way we we receive money, um, how much money we can receive, and all of the things. So these are the things that I really want to focus on today in this show. So visiting past lifetimes to gain understanding of who you are and what you're here to experience so that you can heal, learn, complete and release can seriously change your money story. So for example, you may have been a monk in a past lifetime and taken a a vow of poverty. So maybe in this lifetime, you give away everything that you have to the needy before you look after yourself. That vow will still be active now because it's never been released, healed or cleared. Maybe you've been a witch, a wise woman or a midwife in a past life and you vowed never to use your gifts for money, right? To never be paid for your expertise, your services, right? This vow is going to be affecting your money-making abilities in this lifetime because that vow has never been cleared. Maybe you were a slave in a past lifetime and vowed to always be of service to others for little or no reward. Or maybe you have made the vow that you are going to help others before helping yourself. And this will have an impact on how money shows up in your life now. All of these things impact our present lifetime until they are healed, cleared, or released in the Akashic Records. If, for example, you experience something traumatic like being robbed or kidnapped for ransom or hijacked, this can cause trauma in your body, your aura, and your DNA. And this will remain there, causing you money issues until it is healed or released. So this may not have happened to you personally, but it could be that it's happened to your ancestors, uh, parents, 
All of those things come down in our DNA to be healed and released. If you experience a lifetime where you were treated badly around money from someone that you loved, this could cause a soul wound that needs to be healed. Your ancestors too may have experienced some real difficulties in their lives and this will be passed down in your DNA to be healed again. Okay, so things like the witch wound, the mother wound, the father wound, um, poverty, slavery, all of these things can have a massive impact on how money shows up in our life, how we receive money, um, how we hold on to money, um, scarcity, lack, feast and famine cycles, all of the things, okay? So they can really start to cause issues around money, wealth, finance, abundance. I think it's also important to talk a little bit about karma and money karma as well. Now, karma isn't a punishment. It's an incomplete lesson that your soul wants to understand and it's likely that it's going to show up as challenges in your life. Because it's an incomplete lesson, you may be absolutely oblivious as to how it's affecting you or your finances. So I think it's important to mention that karma is not good, it's not bad, it just is, right? But it can literally derail you from being successful when it comes to money. It is a main player in our lives and it affects how and why we make the sole choices that we make. If in this life we don't come to understand the lessons our soul wishes to learn, we will give ourselves another chance to learn them in another lifetime. And coming back gives us another opportunity to fulfill our soul learning, which is one of the reasons most of us have hundreds of human lifetimes. And literally, there is a multitude of ways that we can create money karma, okay? So maybe you had a past life where you stole from your employer or a business partner, right? In a current lifetime, you get fired from a job because people are suspicious about your integrity. So you won't know that that's happened, but you just feel, you know, it's unfair And it's important to look at, right, okay, could this thing be a karmic lesson that is showing up for me to be revisited and to be healed? Another way that this could show up is that um, maybe you have an existing business partner and they steal all your ideas and open a new business. So karma does play an important role in how money shows up in our lives. As I said at the beginning, you know, we have great lifetimes and we have not so great lifetimes. So you would have experienced poverty and you would have experienced riches, right? We need both sides of the coin to be able to understand the lessons, to be able to grow and expand in ourselves, but also in the way that we receive money as well. Okay, so um, learning those lessons is really, really important. We also have collective unconscious beliefs around money as well. Society's thoughts about money may have a powerful effect on us as well. Ideas about money and prosperity may come from your parents, your grandparents, teachers, um, your church, your religious leaders, anyone that has had an impact on you from childhood. So your main caregivers, your nannies, all of those things, okay? So you might remember your parents saying we can't afford it, okay? That is a really, really big one. I'm going to talk about I can't afford it in another episode because understanding what I can't afford does for your money-making um, money receiving opportunities is is really really powerful okay so we talk about that in another session um but you may have heard money doesn't grow on trees even if your parents didn't say it you may have picked up on the body language or you know just felt their thoughts and beliefs energetically or you know picked up on their facial expressions as well okay so 
we carry around many thoughts and beliefs about money that are unconscious and unverbal as well, or nonverbal, sorry. And because money is a taboo topic in many families and cultures around the world, these thoughts and beliefs become ingrained as behaviors that are never examined or questioned. You know, we expect our parents, our grandparents, our caregivers to install um, the right values in us, the right beliefs in us, right? But when we're not talking about money, right, and when we're very focused on scarcity and lack, that has a massive impact on how money shows up in our lives, okay? So it is important to question your beliefs. So we're talking about um, unconscious beliefs at the moment, but it's also important to question your beliefs around money, right? And where have they come from, okay? So working to identify both conscious and unconscious beliefs around money and the money story you're telling yourself will be incredibly helpful in changing your money story. Once you have identified the beliefs that are not serving you, these can be changed to powerful beliefs that do serve the money story that you want to be telling yourself. So let's talk about how the Akashic Records can help you with this, okay? Visiting your Akashic Records can help you to identify the unchanging core of your being. They help us to understand energetic blocks and patterns that we carry through from childhood, past lifetimes, and ancestrally. The records help us to not only identify our strengths, but also the dysfunctional aspects of our soul makeup too. They help us to understand and identify patterns, habits, and behaviors that no longer serve us. And they also uncover the reasons why we continue to attract the same situations, people, circumstances into our lives. And this, of course, includes lack and scarcity. So based on this deep understanding, we can heal emotional pain, trauma, complete karmic lessons, release old vows, contracts, agreements, soul wounds, and everything that is impacting our lives now, including money and finances. With this deep understanding, we can then start to heal and release these aspects that have been keeping us stuck and restricted so that we can transform our lives, transform our money stories as well. The more that we heal, clear and release from our past, the easier it is to call in more money, wealth, prosperity and abundance. And by taking the time to understand who we are at a core level, what we are here to do, how we are here to serve and what our sole purpose is, will not only give you massive insight in who you are as a being, but it will change your money story as well. So when we are healing in the Akashic Records, we not only make changes for ourselves, we heal for our ancestors, our lineage, and for our future possibilities as well. The more each of us heals our own issues, problems, and challenges, and emotions, the more impact we have on the world. And this creates a butterfly effect for healing the planet too. So we're gonna do some pendulum healing to help us to release old emotions around money and call in new alignment energies that will be far more powerful for us. So I'm going to work with the pendulum and some charts to really see what needs to be healed collectively right now. So it have the most benefit for those watching. So I'm gonna ask you to just close your eyes and take in some nice deep breaths. Just breathe in and call back your energy from across time and space, people and events. And breathe out, just relaxing and releasing. Breathe in, calling back your energy from across time and space, people and events. And breathe out, just releasing and relaxing. Breathe in and call back your energy from across time and space, people and events. Breathe out, relax and release. 
ask you to give me access to your Akashic Records now. You don't need to do anything. Just say yes in your mind. So I'm going to align the pendulum now to work with us. So dear divine, I now wish to connect the energy of money and my spiritual guides of pure love and light. I request that all answers are given in divine truth with 100% accuracy now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. So I'm just going to wait for the pendulum to stop. It's just creating a vortex of energy for us. I don't know if you, can, you can't see it. Okay, so I'm going to ask the question. I have a pendulum chart here. So I'm going to ask the question... What area of our money stories do we need to collectively focus on right now? Okay, so it's receiving money. Okay. How is the lack of receiving money showing up in our lives right now? Okay, so we've got scarcity consciousness. Okay, is there anything else we need to know from this chart? Nope. Okay, so let's see how it is affecting us emotionally. Okay, so... How is scarcity consciousness releasing, uh, affecting the collective? So lack is coming up. So let me know if you're in lack. Insecurity. Anything else? Okay, fear is coming up, but we're going to look at fear individually. Is there anything else? Okay, doubt. So these are all things that stop money coming in for us. So worry. Frustration. Anything else? Discouraged. Unworthiness. Okay, is there anything else? Stuckness. So we're going to do a good clearing today. Anything else? And there's some shame around that as well. So shame around money. So um, wanting money because, you know, we're... Society tells us that money is evil um, and, you know, money is the root of all evil and all of those things. I'm sure you've heard that um, at some point. So these are the things that we want to release. So what are the biggest fears around money? What are the things that are coming up? So abandonment. Okay. So fear of being abandoned. Fear of failure. Anything else? Okay. 
fear of being poor. Okay, anything else? Fear of persecution there as well. So that will go back to thinking about the witch wound and those kind of wounds. You know, fear of um, you know being persecuted for using your gifts. And fear of judgment. Okay, so we've got a few things to clear here today. Okay, so is this everything? Yes. Okay. Okay, so let me do this the right way. Let's just have a look at collectively, are there any actions that we can take individually to have an effect on this? So column one. Column two, column three, column four, row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, row six. So use a money affirmation. So I will give you a money affirmation at the end to help you. Okay, so we want to clear these blocks. Okay, so we are going to do the clearing now. Take my hair off of there. Okay, so let's get these low vibrations and fears removed. We do the fears separately. Okay, so let's get these healed. So if you want to take a few nice deep breaths and then in divine truth, love and light and for the highest good of all, I now transform all scarcity consciousness that create lack, insecurity, fear, doubt, worry, frustration, discouragement, unworthiness, stuckness and shame on all conscious levels throughout our whole body systems, all aspects of time, dimension, space and beyond. I activate this money healing so that we can successfully create and receive more money with ease. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. So we're just going to allow the pendulum to do its work. Okay, so we're now going to clear the fears. So we just get the pendulum spinning. So in divine truth and light, and for the highest good of all, I now transform all scarcity consciousness blocks that create fears of abandonment, failure, being poor, persecution, and judgment on all conscious levels throughout a whole body system all aspects of time, dimension, space and beyond. I activate this money healing so that we can successfully create and receive more money with ease. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. So we just let the pendulum complete this healing. So while this completes, an affirmation that you can use is a successfully create and receive money with ease. So affirmations need to be repeated. So put this on a post-it note, on your dashboard, on your mirror, on your fridge, wherever you can see it, and you can repeat it. Okay, our beliefs are taking on by repetition. So we want to create new beliefs. So... So repeating affirmations is a good way to create new powerful beliefs. So just let this finish spinning. Okay. 
Okay, fantastic. Okay. Okay, so I'd love to know how you feel after that very quick pendulum healing. If you'd like to know more about working with the pendulum inside your Akashic Records, please feel free to reach out to me. If you're serious about changing your money story, please check out the Soul Prosperity Activator. The link is just below. And together we will rewrite your past and align you to limitless abundance. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions. If you would like to book a clarity call to find out how I can transform your life and your business, the link is also below. Have a fabulous week, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Ciao for now.